I'm going to show you how I use the Mini 4 Pro for traffic survey and it's done very specifically because it needs to go into AI modeling for automated uh, driverless cars for companies like Tesla. Now my secret weapon is using this new I knew battery charger, it's 140 watts. So let's go hit the road. One of the main challenges with flying these missions is you need to be airborne for a total of five hours to get enough data for the AI modeling. And that's then of course the challenge with your batteries because you've got to keep landing and putting a new battery in. And for this, because you're over traffic, we're using the Mini 4 Pros and those batteries will only really do about 20 minutes before they uh, do return to home to leave that 20% uh, leeway. So keeping those batteries charges, charged is a challenge. Now, I do have six batteries with me um, and I will go through those easily um, within a few hours. And uh, I have used a product by uh, iNew and it was a 100 watt charger, which did a really good job of uh, keeping batteries charged but didn't quite keep up with it so they've actually sent me a 140 watt battery power bank so I'm going to use that today I'm going to time it test it and just see how well that keeps up I'm going to hopefully just use my three battery pack and see if I can just keep rotating those so let's give that a go so that's the telephone mic I'm using at the moment it's that top one there and it is tiny let me show you like the furry fluffy muffler covers my hands are so cold i can't get it out covers the whole mic it's that small we're going to put the auxiliary light on so if you go over to safety put down auxiliary light on and it makes it much easier to see the drone. So this audio is coming from the really tiny little Telesyn mics into the RC controller. Now if you can look on the screen here you can see I've lined myself up over the roundabout and I've got my crosshair right on the center of that roundabout and looking at the controls here I'm in pro mode as opposed to auto and if we click on the parameters you can see we've locked the ISO at 100 and let the shutter be auto because we want to keep that between 100 and 1000 so that's very specific because if the ISO is on auto it tends to jump and you'll really see the difference in the exposure. So we keep that locked and let the shutter do the adjustments. White balance auto and it's in 4K at 30 frames a second. The color mode is normal. The coding format is 264. The other thing to make sure is that you've got your video subtitles on and then as long as you're pointing down at 90 degrees and the drone isn't drifting due to the wind then you're absolutely good to go the thing to notice is to really keep an eye on that battery level you can say see at the top there it says 69 uh, percent 23 minutes left so we'll keep an eye on that because when it gets to 20%, it will do a return to home, so it will move off the location. So we want to stop the recording just before it does that. So we're going to use this uh, iNew battery charger now. We've just landed the drone and uh, it's a bit bigger than the other one. Very nice. Very nicely made, it's got this uh, screen as well. So uh, just like to show you what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a, a net camera on, which is quite handy. It's sent to me by Telesyn, which is quite cool. Right here. It's one little button here to just press and it comes out. I love that. Okay, put my action camera on here. You'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So uh, we've got my charger here, we've landed the drone and uh, we're going to see how quickly this charges it. So we've got this plugged in as you can see here 
and we're gonna time this for five to one so i'm quite looking forward to seeing how quickly it'll charge it we've got 22 minutes left on the um, battery on the drone that's flying at the moment i don't think it'll quite do it that quickly that's coming down so we've done one battery and this is the second one and we're landed and let's have a look low voltage. we've got uh, three three out of four bars on that other battery so that's not bad at all still timing it so let's get the next battery in so that's it battery's fully charged it's been about 50 minutes so would hope for slightly quicker but that's really quite good well i did need more than three batteries but with the six batteries i was able to easily loop around them and just film all day long definitely charged them really quickly i was quite impressed so uh, quite successful well you could see how useful this massive power pack was and in fact it's still got a 36 percent charge left on it and it had charged nearly three of these batteries while i was out on the job so i probably only needed four batteries all together to keep cycling the whole day long so pretty good there it's so powerful i've been using it on productions using these 100 watt cob lights and you can see it'll just power those up as well so really super useful out in the field you've got this really clever led screen here and the first uh, icons will show you how much power output for these different ports at the top they're called channels you can scroll through them by clicking the button on the side and then in, in the middle it'll show you the percentage left on the power pack and then how many hours are left as well there's a link in the description below to this product so do check that out if you want to see more on the mini 4 pro there's a, a playlist over there please subscribe to the channel by clicking up there and i look forward to seeing you over there